Yo, what's good YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video and in today's video we're going to be customising and reviewing this bad boy, the Karen Everin, which was released with the Casino Heist DLC. Now, uh, very expensive for this vehicle, $1.4 million, same as all the other vehicles in this DLC so far. A very expensive, with the exception of the Asbo, even though it is still $400,000 compared to these bitches it's nothing it's less than half so well actually sorry it's more than half because these are all well over a million dollars so we are going to purchase this for 1.4 million dollars because i don't have access to the trade price so yeah 1.4 million dollars it is so pulling into ls customs you'll see the karen everon is in the off-road category and just looking at this bad boy in ls customs it is huge look at the size of them wheels man insane Textures underneath the car are shocking as always. That's actually really bad, that is. Rockstar can be so lazy with things. Look at that under the wheel arch. Literally no suspension. They've just got a flat texture of a, of a suspension arm. It's just ridiculous. Anyway, let's look on the bright side of things on this video. Let's go to armor and purchase 100% body armor as always to start the build. Brakes, we're going to get the race brakes. Bumper, front bumper, loads of options for the front bumper, which is nice to see. And giving a splitter to a car like this is retarded. But anyway, we're, we're going to move on. We've got the barbell. Then we've got the barbell with a winch. Barbell with a winch and fogs. And that splitter's still there. Oh my Jesus, that is huge. Splitter's still there. Splitter is still there. That's really irritating that all these options, which are cool options, have that horrible splitter at the bottom. Oh man, that's really irritating. Uh, we're going to get the... No, we don't want to get the polar one actually. It looks kind of weird when it pokes out of the bumper like that. So we are going to get next best thing and it's going to be the Explorer bar. With the winch and fogs, obviously. Don't forget that. Rear bumper. We've got two additional options. We've got the chrome and the chrome <laughs> chrome and chrome and uh, we're gonna get chrome too why the hell not engine we get the level 4 engine upgrade for the exhausts only two additional options and oh uh, ex exit into the side just slightly and then we'll get the jewels and we're gonna get those bad boys for the hood we get the secondary carbon uh, oh we get the one with a little guard at the front which is pretty cool the carbon version of that, and then we get the vented, 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 scoop. <laughs> scoop, scoop, scoop. Oh, vented again, double, 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 and back to nothing. Um, <laughs> definitely not the double one. That looks weird on this car. I think the, the scoop actually looks okay. Uh, but what one to have? There's so many options. Yeah, I'm going to get the scoop, but I'm going to get the scoop with the guard. Uh, next, we've got the lights. Headlights, we're going to go Xeon headlights. Then we've got the livery. We get a single black stripe. Not sure where that is. I know. There it is. You can see it just faintly over the top. Then we've got the same, but in white. Double it up in black again. Same in white. It actually looked quite cool like that, man. The double one, I like that. Got the 4x4 on the side. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that double white race stripe. Then we've got the fast black stripes over the top again. Oh, wow. Tattered US flag. That looks quite cool. And we get this Children of the Mountain livery. Very strange. Harsh Souls. Mm, it's okay. Nothing really that tickles my fancy. That actually looks quite cool. I like the look of that. Uh, that looks weird. So there are some nice liveries for this. To be fair, I think my favourite was this one. Actually, I don't know. Let's go for. Let's go with this bad boy. Yeah, I think that looks quite cool, man. Especially with the black as well. So it goes well with the, you know, the paint colour I've got on at the moment. Anyway. So when we come to the respray, like we just have, we're going to go to the primary colour, classic, and make sure we've got black selected. Same for the secondary colour, classic, and make sure the black is selected. Uh, roll cage. 
I don't know why it's under roll cage because it clearly says it's a bed cover and that's a rack and they're containers. <laughs> so I don't understand why the category is called roll cage. And we've got this, but they're not technically roll cages, are they? Correct me if I'm wrong. I'm pretty sure that the, the technical term for these on a truck are not roll cages. Um, but I might be wrong. That's just my understanding that they're called something different. Uh, but we are going to go for... We'll go, go with this one. Then we've got the roof. And we've got the secondary roof stack. Sorry, secondary stock roof. Our carbon roof. Vortex generators. Why you'd want vortex generators on a truck is beyond me. Can we just get the roof rack without the vortex generators? I don't think we can. So we're going to stay stock for the roof. Then we've got the side skirts. And we're going to get the chrome step 2. For the sp a spoiler? A spoiler? Get out of here. Spoiler. Suspension on a car like this? <laughs> Lowered suspension on a truck? <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> transmission, we're going to get the race transmission. Turbo, we're going to get the turbo tuning for the wheels. The wheels actually look quite cool on this. Um, the same goes for the buggy. The name of the buggy actually it's escapes me. The name of it, I, I can't think what it's called. It's the new one that come with this DLC. No, nope, can't think of it. But anyway, I changed the rims on that buggy and the tyres stayed the same when I'd done it in the off-road category. I'm wondering if the same will happen on this. Which it does. That's awesome, man. Because there was one thing that I really disliked about the off-road wheels and that was the tyres. So I'm really happy that we can change the rims in the off-road category. Um, so obviously we get a different look, but the tyres stay the same. So that's awesome. Uh, I found I could go with Mudslinger on this. What does Chrome Mudslinger look like? I'm going to go Chrome Mudslinger. Then it matches the step, Mark II, and the bumper, Mark II. <laughs> yeah, baby. Let's get it. Whilst we're here, guys, we are going to go into the tyre enhancements and purchase the bulletproof tyres because there's loads of assholes out there that want to pop my tyres. And to finish off the build, as always, we're going to go into Windows and purchase. <sighs> Light smoke window tint. So as we pull out of LS Customs, it is night time because I'm on PS4. And it always seems to be night time when I finish my builds on PS4. Uh, and obviously when I'm on PC, I can go into the mod menu and um, change the time of day. And I don't have that luxury in, in this, so uh, just have to make do. The customizations are pretty sweet for this vehicle, not going to lie. I'm really happy the way it's turned out. I think it looks awesome. Very unique and... Um, is an off-road vehicle so hopefully it's gonna be competitive maybe not really sure if it will do or not I'm not 100% sure what's out there and what's the best off-road car nowadays but um, it feels okay the acceleration is pretty slow but you can feel that the speed picks up pretty quickly so um, it's pretty fast for what it is the accelerations um, dog shit slow though Handling feels okay and responsive. Um, feels like it grips to the floor quite nicely. Doesn't want to spin out, but then again, it doesn't really have much power to spin out. Uh, let's take it around this bend, see what happens. Yeah, so the handling is really responsive. It, it, as soon as you pull it into the corner, it holds and it goes where you want it to go, which is nice. It doesn't want to spin out. Like I said, the acceleration is pretty slow, and the top speed really isn't there. It's all right. It picks up speed quite nicely, but not as much as I was hoping for, um, especially for the, the price. What was it, like 1.4 million or something stupid like that? Um, but yeah, that's, that's just Rockstar DLC cars, I suppose. They can charge whatever the fuck they want, and people will buy them regardless uh, but that's why I'm here I'm here to buy them so you don't have to <laughs> and I don't think this is one that you should buy really unless you'd absolutely love the look of it 
But um, yeah, I don't think it's going to be breaking any records in the off-road category, unfortunately. But um, it is what it is. But anyway, guys, with that being said, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please smash that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios. Thank <laughs> you.